Hello everyone, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand Rangers podcast and I'm joining you tonight live from Ibrox after Rangers 2-0 defeat of Livingston in the quarter-final of the Premier Sports Cup, the League Cup. Um, we got there in the end, a game of two halves, a little bit like Sunday except this time it worked out to Rangers' advantage. Rangers made some changes to the side tonight, uh, in came Calvin Bassey and Nathan Parson, I thought both were very good in the first half where Rangers front players did not measure up unfortunately to what was in front of them Rangers were very pedestrian in that first half, Morelos uh, couldn't get into the game, Ruth couldn't get into the game, Aribo was not good and uh, Scott Wright will not look back this night with much, uh, with much fondness and he was hooked at half time and to be honest any of them could have been Rangers still had chances in the first half, both the young fullbacks could and probably should have scored but there was nothing coming through the attack and Rangers just weren't playing with pace second half all that changed I don't know what the manager said to them at half time I assume that a few balls were booted and I'm not talking about might or deltas but Rangers in the second half brought on Yanis Hadji 90 seconds later he'd created a goal great bit of play sliding the ball across for a tap in for Kemar Roof and after that Rangers in the second half just dominant just dominant from start to finish uh, some, some lovely play in midfield John Lundstrom having his best game tonight I thought for Rangers Dominant at the back, uh, with both Goldson and Balligan being excellent. Nathan Parson had to go off with an injury after an hour and Tav came on, but Rangers just continued to batter Livingston with their goalkeeper, Strijek, making a number of great saves, particularly one from a corner Goldson header, uh, and also one from Kamar Roof. And it was a bit of a shame for him, but great for us, that his night won't be remembered for those saves, it'll be remembered for a howler where he passed the ball straight to Alfredo Morelos, who steadied himself took a touch inside and then smashed it home for 2-0 really at the end if Rangers had won by 3 or 4 it wouldn't have flattered us and tonight it's just if the Rangers players needed a contrast on what what their strengths are or needed a lesson on what their strengths are tonight aptly demonstrated it when Rangers play at pace we are a very very good side when we play with drive and tempo and when we're on side when we're pedestrian when we're knocking the ball about then we struggle and Rangers will, will continue to have games like that where teams sit in and if we stretch them and move them the way we did in the second half then you'll know what will happen I think that there had been a bit of a question about a lack of goals from open play well that was rectified tonight with two goals from open play Hadji, you know I've been saying this all summer so I'm glad he's starting to prove me right I think Hadji is ready for a breakout season I think Hadji he's just got the confidence and he's got the manner of, of somebody that wants to be the centre of attention that wants the ball that doesn't let Knox bother him and you saw the impact he had tonight uh, it was a game changing intervention from Yanis Hadji as for the rest you know Alfie not in good form but he got a goal and that always helps with Alfie when the confidence is going Roof kept at it got another goal he has been in good goal scoring form Scott Wright might be a few weeks before we see him again right enough that's uh, two really poor performances on the bounce and with Fashion Sakala coming on and impressing again towards the end then uh, that spot will certainly be going once Ryan Kent's back but uh, no overall I think Rangers fans left the stadium happy it didn't look that might be the case at half time but the second half performance just a reminder of what this team can do when it's at its best Thank you for joining me tonight. I'll be back uh, on Saturday after Rangers take on Dundee away in the uh, Premier League. But if you want to hear more from us, including full build-up, including interviews, one with Kenny Miller this morning, for example, including prayer profiles, uh, anything, not prayer profiles, that, that would be a different sort of channel altogether. Although maybe we should all reflect on our spirituality from time to time. But if you want to hear about football anyway, then go to patreon.com forward slash heart and hand. I will head off now to go and celebrate a win and a clean sheet and look forward to the semi-final draw. Until I speak to you again, have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye-bye.